What's up guys? Uh, it's Baker. Can uh, show you a little tutorial on a simple little intro you can make and stuff. And this is me. This is uh, my office thing. Um, yeah, I apologize right away because I am sick. I have work in an hour, so I'll try to get this done pretty fast. It might take a while because it's, uh, I mean, it's kind of simple, but what I'm showing you, it's, uh, I don't know. You know what? Just just watch. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. Simple little line, little emblem, name, popping out, sliding under, zooms in, little animation, reflections, and all that good stuff. Okay, so it's not exactly what the other intro that I showed you looks like, but... Um, the premise is pretty nice, and I just want to show you. Okay, let's start with. Let me close these comps. <clears throat> I start with a new composition. This is going to be 1280 by 720 standard high definition, blah, blah, blah. 10 seconds, 29.9 frames per second. Okay, this will be. Let me rename it. Go back, sorry. This will be our um, pre final. That's what I like to call it. Boom, and start with another composition, and we'll call this emblem. And we need to make it about I think I use 400 by 400. Okay, so here is our emblem comp. <coughs> we are going to be making a circle, and the other one I have like a little squarish thing, and it's going to be the exact same, just different masks. And I'll show you. So we'll start with a new layer, or yeah, a new solid. We'll call this color. And I'm gonna make it like a, I don't know, like a bluish, somewhere around, I don't know, somewhere around there. You can always change it later, but something like that. And let's go to our masks and go to ellipse tool and just double click. Perfect circle. Now, if you wanted the um, the other one, just use rounded rectangle. That's what I used. Anyways, so there's our color, and what we're gonna do is duplicate that and we will rename this um, rim outer probably spelled that wrong but whatever so what we're gonna do is go into your masks and duplicate the circle mask and a second one set it to subtract and bring in the expansion so if I sold this all we're doing is making this little ring thing just about I think I used negative 15 just about looks good <clears throat> okay, and what I'm going to do with this, type in ramp for your effects, drag it on, and this ramp needs to be a medium white on the top and a medium dark gray on the bottom, and maybe scoot the, uh, the points in a little bit, it's got a nice little gradient, right, and duplicate the rim outer and rename it rim in there awesome so this <coughs> the outer rim starts at 0 and ends at 15 so our inner rim needs to start at 15 and then the second one will go in an extra 10 so this will be a negative 25 so if you look you got a uh, inner ring right there and an outer ring and what we're gonna do is change this ramp to switch the uh, the points up and down like that so you see a little contrast it kind of simulates um, some lighting and some depth looks pretty nice I think so there's our background color um, let's see next thing I want to let's see what I do I think you can um, duplicate the color put it in between let's see no on top of inner and put the outer on top of color and change the opacity of color down to like 50 so it like just barely colors the uh, the inner ring kinda gives it more depth like the uh, the colors like inside next I'm gonna make the little like energy so what I did was duplicate the color put it on top of this color and call it energy uh, yeah so it's underneath the outer rim but still on top of everything else and we are gonna go to fractal noise. Boom. 
and we're gonna go to vector blur CC vector blur boom drag that on and last one hue and saturation drag that on so let's go to our fractal noise and let's turn up the contrast turn down the brightness a little bit um, that looks good vector blur amounts 15 or 20 kind of gives it a little like I don't know energy I call it energy but um, and then let's give it some color by clicking colorize on hue and saturation and let's give it like a nice light blue tealish kind of color yeah, let me get some more color and looks good. And let's set the transfer mode. If you toggle switch, change it to add. So like add on top and maybe turn the opacity down just a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Maybe just change the um, brightness and whatnot over here. Okay. So there's our emblem but we want it to animate so we'll go to energy and go back up to the fractal noise <coughs> evolution hold down alt and click on the stopwatch and just type time times 250 so this animate value or the evolution value will animate as time goes on kind of gives it a little like uh almost like a watery kind of energy something like that and what i did was um Bring out the masks for energy. Duplicate that circle mask because all these are circles. And um, change the second mask to subtract. Bring it in so it's like that ring again, and then feather it out. So uh, like that because we'll be have we'll put a little text thing in there, and uh, I don't want it to like overpower and cover everything. But let's see. Let's let's bring our text in. So I'm just gonna put a B because I'm Baker. And let's size this up. Um, kind of center it. Let's uh, title action see. Right about there. Looks good. Maybe, maybe a little bit bigger. Oh shit. Okay. Sorry if this is going to take long, but I don't want it to take long. Center it. Okay, that's good. And I am going to uh, put a ramp on it to kind of simulate the gradient that we use for the outer ring so a darker gray on the bottom lighter there and let's turn uh bring down these endpoints so it's uh, like that good and to make it a little bit more i mean you can keep it like that oh by the way put it under energy so the energy is kind of like flowing on top um to give it a, a little bit more life, I guess, to make it seem a little bit more 3D, duplicate the B, or your letter, and turn these both into 3D layers by hitting this switch, and go to the position, and bring back the position a little bit, and then just change the ramp, <coughs> just like a darker color. That so, kind of like gives you um, a little tiny bit 3D perspective, if you kind of see it in the background very tiny very subtle but looks nice make it big like that but I don't know just a couple pixels and then one other thing I did was I made a new solid since I wanted to make everything inside of After Effects no extra plugins no extra um, any of that stuff like textures and pictures I wanted to make everything inside of After Effects so I'm gonna use this lens flare put it right in the center 200 200 because this, uh, this comp's 400. Now, uh, I think I used this one. Looks, looks alright, I guess. Um, I put it behind B and in front of the color, and I set it to... That looks... Actually, that kind of looks kind of cool. Interesting. That's... Ooh, black and teal. Oh, nice. But I set it to add. I like that. But... I don't know, let me try that. Let me change the color. Let's see, very back color. Let me try black. I want to see this. I'm experimenting, you guys. Uh, let's see, maybe change this to like a darker purple. Interesting. That looks, that looks kind of cool. I don't know. It's up to you guys. But um, that's our gist of our emblem, I believe. So let's go to our pre-final comp and let's start working on that. So I'm going to start with the background, make it uh, G. 
just under white. And if you want to rename it, just call it background. Okay. And let's bring in our emblem. That in. There's our emblem. And um, the black is because of the lens flare. So a quick way to get rid of that is just double click ellipse and boom, look at that. Good. So um, let's set up our position. So we need to make this 3D. Push P for position and let's just move this over. And it's a little large. I'm going to scale it down. Maybe about there. Maybe like 75%. Position just about, yeah, looks, looks all right. And I'm going to type in my text and position that. So X Baker X H D. Ho, ho, ho. Scale it down. And let's bring up our title action safe so we can center this correctly. And it needs to be scaled down again a little bit. Okay. So right in the middle, I want to put it, let's see, just about there. Looks good. 